what's up guys welcome to today's video so people always ask me why I jailbreak or what can be done with it and basically it just allows you to personalize your iOS device pretty much any extent that you want to remove the restrictions that Apple has in place and things like that well here it is guys this is my perfect jailbroken setup video now I'm going to walk through my entire phone listing as many tweaks as I can think of that are currently installed and I'll throw in a few extra that I think are cool that didn't quite make it to my setup. Anyhow, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Best Tech Info article regarding this video. Let's get directly into things. So animations are pretty sweet. As you guys can see, I have a lot going on here. Now, do I use this on my daily setup? No, unfortunately I don't, but they look freaking sweet for videos. Anyway, we have the fluid widget going on in the background. I have these floating particles going on. I also have this animated wallpaper with Zenimated, and you can even do page by page widgets. That pretty much covers widgets. I'm gonna go ahead and turn a couple of these off so it doesn't kill my battery. That is the number one thing I don't like about this is your battery is going to drain. I think I started out at 75% when I started recording this video, and I'm already at 67. So let's turn this off and get into this setup. So starting off on the lock screen now I usually do have this floating particle thing going on in the background but aside from that I also have asteroid to give me this nice weather right here and this is awesome that it gives you the little summary and then you can quickly dismiss it right down here at the bottom then it can show all your notifications and everything else. Well I also have jellyfish for this custom clock right here this little indicator right below the clock right there that little moon is leave me alone so I currently have do not disturb enabled but there's no notification letting me know that's with leave me alone I also have Bazzi to show my battery percentage around the notch I also have my battery percentage instead of the battery icon right there same tweak does both down here at the very bottom I have jumper to add more toggles to these default ones right here now here are a couple others that didn't quite make the cut this one right here is called 6 to bring the iOS 6 style lock screen to modern devices. And a couple others from videos past, we also have Lock Plus Pro to basically customize your lock screen exactly how you want it. You can make your own or choose from thousands of presets. Also, Scribble was an interesting one where you can draw a passcode to unlock your devices. So, next category is music. There's a bunch of tweaks I want to talk about here. We have Artsy going on in the background to basically personalize the music, Spotify, and all other applications based on the album artwork. We also have Mishuda Infinity right here to bring the music visualizer on the music app, on the home screen right here at the bottom with Mashuda Infinity home screen, and even on the lock screen within your music platter right there. Now, probably my favorite tweak in a while is called Next Step 2, which basically lets you choose which song is coming up next. And again, you can just shuffle through it, and then when you want the one that you want, you can just click Next, and again, it will start playing that song. So here's one that everyone is going to love up here where the time is. If I go ahead and change my volume, as you guys can see, the time fades, and then you have your volume HUD indicator right there in the notch, and that's with Sonos 12. We also have Groovify and artistry to make Spotify look freaking sweet, display the album artwork right here, and have a custom color theme, as well as a dark mode within the Spotify app. But the dopest thing about these tweaks is not only does it work in the music application and Spotify, but if you pull down the control center, that's entirely themed as well. And this also works with Gusto, so the control center is themed, and you have this split screen between your multitasking pane and the control center. Anyway, awesome tweaks. They work fantastic together. Also, new grid switcher works pretty well as an alternative to Gusto, but really, this thing just nailed the cake with having the control center as well as the multitasking pane all in one interface. Let's get on to the next section. So for the next section, let's go ahead and talk about dark mode tweaks. Of course, we have Noctis 12 to basically theme your entire device, your widgets, your notifications, and things like that. And again, when we go into an application like the Settings app, we have Eclipse 12 to handle that theming. Now within the Settings app, I also have Edge, which brings this kind of gradient edge around the iPhone right here. And this looks super sweet on OLED devices. I think it's a nice touch. And again, within the Settings app as well, I also have Shuffle 
going on right here to reorganize my tweaks. So I have the tweaks here right at the top and it just cleans up the settings app instead of having just a long giant list. Now, another awesome tweak for the settings app is called Better Settings to basically change its appearance, separate these platters a little bit more. I also have circle settings going on right here to change the icon masks of those. It all works super nicely together. All right, so next up, let's talk about the control center. Really, there's two that I mainly use all the time. One is called power module to quickly reboot, enter safe mode and respring and things like that. And then of course we have real CC to actually disable and re-enable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi instead of just temporarily disabling them, they're permanently disabled. Now the control center needs a lot of work in my opinion, and unfortunately not that many tweaks for the control center have been updated for A12 support. So some of these I will install the second they're updated like better CCXI, which redesigns and adds some more platters right here like this weather platter. We also have magma to add some custom colors to the control center. We have toglo to add these really nice glow behind these icons. Cool CC is what outlines everything and removes the background. One of my favorites duo to add a second page to your control center. And this is one that just quite didn't make the cut, but this one called Easy Swipe. It's an awesome way to access the control center. If you swipe down on the right, that goes directly to the control center. The middle still goes to Spotlight, and then the left actually goes to your lock screen. So let's talk about some home screen tweaks because this is another area where Apple really needs to improve with iOS 13. So a new icon layout either done by Boxy3 or Iconator11. We have Floaty Dock or Floating Dock Plus to basically bring the iPad style dock to iPhones. And again, this one's super sweet because you have gestures to access multitasking. You can access the lock screen just like that, as well as the control center. So snowboard or anemone to add custom icon themes. The theme I'm using right now is snow white, but I still switch between that and Lotus. Now, one of my favorites is called Zenth, where you can actually hide other applications behind one default one. So you can actually just toggle up anything you want just like that. I have all my social media, like you guys saw, all in one platter, but other cases, what's another one that I use? Like Photos app, I have Google Photos right below it. It just makes sense to have things organized like that. We also have classic folders too, to bring back the old style of folders, and it kind of gives a modern look on it as well. A pretty new one is called Springfinity to add vertical scrolling on your home screen as well for basically an unlimited amount of icons on one page. So both left, right, up, down, now brings you to different applications. I also have color badges to theme the badge icons based on the application color. And this one's only blue because it's Facebook that has the notifications. But as you guys can see, Celio is kind of that teal blue where notes or docs, I think that's Google Docs, is the darker blue. Basecamp is green because the icon's mostly green. So a couple that have yet to be updated for A12, we have Cylinder. Again, there is an actual fork if you guys want to download that and manually install it. But another one that I really like is called Shy Labels, where the icon labels only appear when you're scrolling, and then once you're done, they shortly fade away. And another one that's yet to be updated is called Evanesco. So after a certain period of time, I think 10 seconds, everything on your home screen disappears until you touch the screen again. It looks super sweet, and I'm really excited for that to be updated. Another one that I occasionally have installed is called Cuttlefish. If you guys use 3D Touch, the background blur is then themed to match the icon color. So the app store, the background is blue. The background for YouTube is red. And like the background for the phone app is green. So things like that. So let's move on to notifications. My number one tweak here is called Notifica, which basically redesigns the notification look. It also colorizes the background of said notifications. But in this example, I'm actually using color banners too. Notifica in contrast makes the background colors just a little bit more vibrant and I feel like Color Banners 2 just makes them a little bit more realistic per application color. Anyway, Notifica also changes your widgets if you guys want to do that too. Very last one that I wanted to talk about is called Blurification, and this one actually blurs your notification until your face is recognized. 
So moving to the messages app, here we have bubbles to give an awesome new look. You can also colorize and stylize basically the color of your message bubbles within a message thread. We have textile to basically customize the text style with any message. You can also do this for things like Bluetooth devices. It's kind of crazy. Um, another awesome one, again, classic bar emoji here at the bottom frequently used emojis, so you guys can just add them to your messages really quickly. Another one that I really like, again, has yet to be updated for A12, but when it does, I will definitely install, is called Translucent Messages. Basically takes your background and blurs it behind the message app. It looks awesome in threads and things like that. And again, another one that didn't quite make the cut, we also have a color board right down here, which colorizes the keyboard based on the application that you're in. Right now I'm in Messages, that's why it's green. So another one right here is called Whoops, where you have a three second countdown where you can actually stop the message from being sent if you didn't mean to send it, which is an awesome feature I think Apple should implement. So next up, let's go ahead and talk about some OLED tweaks that are my favorite. First up, we have Moonshine. So when you guys plug your device into charge, you have this Apple Watch style interface that comes up. Again, Bazzy looks really nice like that, and you can just tap right out of it. Now, another one of my favorites, if you guys saw right here at the very top, when you guys plug your device into charge is called Pencil Charging Indicator. That nice little animation looks pretty sweet, even with Moonshine installed. Honestly, these next three are pretty sweet to check out, but they're pretty hard to trigger on video. This one called Short Look is an awesome OLED tweak that looks sweet when you receive notifications. They look something like that. Notifications, another great one that unfortunately has yet to be updated for A12 support, but it brings animation around the notch. We have Hyperion that does something like this with the OLED display. And again, this is also combined with some Perion for your always on display with the clock. And very lastly, message bubbles look something like this. When you receive a message, it just comes up on a black screen just like that. I really like the look of it too. So for this last category, this is just a general category a bunch of tweaks that do a bunch of different stuff, but I really couldn't find a specific place for them. Anyway, let's bust this out and get directly into things. So my favorite, Hide Bar X gets rid of the home bar at the bottom of the iPhone 10, 10s Max, 10R, and of course the 10s. Another fun one that I hope is updated soon is called Barscape, which basically lets you customize that bar at the bottom. And then we also have Chroma Home Bar, another alternative for that pesky home bar at the bottom. Now, I really can't live without this one, Auto Unlock X. Once your face is recognized, it takes you directly to the home screen on your device. We have Call Bar Access, which basically redesigns the call interface. It doesn't take up the whole screen anymore. With that one, we also have small Siri, which essentially does the same thing, just with Siri. Another one of my all-time favorites, BioProtect XS, basically lets you lock down specific applications using Face ID. This one's pretty sweet. It's called Copy Log. It basically keeps a clipboard or history of everything you've copied so you can easily reselect that and paste it in. If you guys like having an Android style app list right here, Vesta is definitely the tweak to go to. We have a tap time right here to show the date. Haptic keys to bring haptic feedback to your keyboard. Absolutely love this tweak. Snapback lets you save multiple snapshots of different jailbreak setups, so you can have one on both Uncover and Chimera. But if it gets a little bit too crazy and you guys want to clean up your device, iCleaner Pro is there to help you. And some people just like exploring the root of the iOS file system, and that can be done with FileZa, pretty much the true finder for iOS. OS. But if you guys just want to start entirely from scratch, restoring your entire device, Succession now works on A12 to completely erase. It's basically like the new version of Cydia Eraser. It will entirely restore your device back to whichever version you're currently running. This one's pretty new, but this one called Sil Actions actually lets you restart Cilio once you're done installing things. So if I just click that, it will actually take me back to the home page so I can continue to install other packages. Now for everyone with AirPods 2 on a jailbroken iOS 12 device, Airport 
brings backwards compatibility for those. Now they'll appear correctly. Unfortunately, hey Siri still doesn't work, but at least they'll look normal. I was really happy this one was just updated. Low power DND. Basically when you toggle on do not disturb, it also toggles on low power mode at the exact same time to save you battery. I still do like the simplicity of this one. Silent screenshot basically eliminates the noise as well as the animations when you take a screenshot, making it a little bit more subtle. And we also have swipe shot where you can use three fingers and swipe downwards to take a screenshot. Celio no banner removes this really annoying red banner when certain repositories are not quite updated for the new format. Photo Manager 12 actually lets you move photos to a new album instead of just copying them. So if I just give it a quick name, now those photos have been removed from my camera roll and are in their specific folder. If you guys have a chance, definitely check out this tweak called Safe Shutdown. It's one of my absolute favorites that I just recently found. Basically, when your device gets to 2 or 5% battery, it's going to fake shut down your device. It's basically going to look like it's shut down, but it's actually still on and running in the background, using as little power as it possibly can to preserve your battery life. So, when you guys plug in your phone, and when you reach 2 or 5%, whatever you set it as, your phone will boot back up or turn back on in this case in its jailbroken state. Lend My Phone 2 brings an entire guest mode to iOS by entering different passcode numbers. You can actually enter different setups. Animations Be Fast lets you customize the animation speed of your device, entering and exiting apps faster, locking and unlocking, things like that. This one yet again has yet to be updated for A12, but Snooze X basically redesigns the snooze screen, making it a lot easier to stop that alarm in the morning. Another great one combined with this tweak is called Alarm Fade, so your alarm will actually fade in in the morning instead of just starting off on full volume. Smart low power mode basically lets you enable or disable low power mode when connected to power. Hush, when you flip your device upside down and it's currently off, it actually turns on do not disturb mode for you. Smart light, so with the volume down button and the side button, actually lets you toggle on your flashlight, something just like that. I think that's a pretty sweet gesture to have until activator is updated. I kind of forgot about this one when regarding music tweaks at the very beginning, but this one called No Idle Timer basically makes it so your lock screen does not turn off when you're listening to music. And this is super useful if you have this mounted in your car or something like that to have an always on display of your music controls. I'll end this video off with one more tweak that again I really hope is updated very soon for A12 support, and this one is called Smart Rotate, and it basically lets you turn on rotation lock for everything aside from videos. So with this middle option selected right here, your device is now locked to portrait mode. Aside when you are watching a video, it will automatically switch it to the landscape mode. Anyway guys, holy crap, that is my top 100 tweaks video. For you guys, these are some of my all-time favorites of what I have on my personal device and what I have on my secondary setup. Again, I use both of these phones for jailbreak videos. Anyway, Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the incredible support. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please definitely show that support with a huge thumbs up. Definitely comment what some of your favorite tweaks are if I missed one in this video. And again, definitely subscribe for more awesome content just like this. And again, if you guys want an entire tweak list as well as all the sources from today's video, definitely check out our Best Tech Info article. Stay tuned, like I said, for more awesome videos to come. But until next time, this is Tony, signing out.